Insomniac's Miles Morales is so powerful that he was able to stop our 150,000 to 200,000 pound or over 90,000 kilogram lifting rhino mid-charge, even sending him flying backwards through a brick wall with just one punch. Unlike Peter Parker, Miles was bitten by a genetically modified spider known as Specimen 42. That was engineered by Oscorp instead of a radioactive one like Peter. This spider gave Miles very similar powers to Peter's with him also being stated to be able to lift up to 10 US tons, being 20,000 pounds or just over 9,000 kilograms. According to the vehicles used in the games, we see Miles easily stopping, lifting, and full-on catching the near 5,000 pound or 2,200 kilogram Audi RS6, Mercedes Benzes, and instead of more easily catching the thing, Miles opted to use the friction between his feet and the pavement to literally grind an almost fully loaded a Suzu NPR that would weigh near 13,500 kilograms or 30,000 pounds to a screeching halt. We also see Miles easily pull around New York subway cars that individually weigh near 40,000 kilograms or 85,000 pounds when empty, including one sitting on a large railway turntable. A turntable that can weigh 50,000 pounds or nearly 23,000 kilograms that Miles manually rotates for a grand total of 80,000 pounds or 38,500 kilograms of weight. More impressively though is after causing the fictional Braithwaite Bridge to split in half, which is basically the Brooklyn Bridge, during this scene we see Miles hold up a New York City bus with one arm that can weigh up to 18,000 kilograms or 40,000 pounds. However, Miles then proceeds to pull together a hanging portion of the suspension bridge. For a reference on the sheer weight of this thing, the enormous iconic towers that we see collapse are stated to weigh around 79 US tons each, otherwise being 158,000 pounds or 71,000 kilograms. The giant steel cable bundle he tries to catch weighs roughly 3,175,000 kilograms or 7 million pounds, and in total the entire near 6,000 foot or 486 meter bridge is stated to weigh at 29,360,000 pounds or 13,317,000 kilograms. So going off the pixels of the height of the people trapped on the floating bridge to find its length, Miles pulls what can roughly be estimated as a 46 meter or 150 foot chunk of this double decker bridge, which could very roughly be estimated to weigh around 250,000 pounds or 150,000 kilograms, give or take a few. But perhaps Miles' true feat here is that throughout this whole fiat not a single person dies, unlike when the actual bridge was made. A Spider-Man saving strength that Miles uses to not only repeatedly collapse buildings and famous tunnels, but to also survive getting repeatedly slammed in the stainless steel pipes that would rupture his intestines causing excruciating pain, having his skull cracked open from breaking through a 6 inch or 0.15 meter thick gravestone, and otherwise take what would cause severe comminuted fractures all over his body which is a fancy way of saying each of his bones would be broken in many, many places. Much worse though is Miles has fallen off the rocks on Skyscraper, falling around a full 45 stories or something like 600 feet or 180 meters onto concrete, waking up moments later as he then goes about absorbing all the electricity from Roxxon's massive generator that was meant to power all of Harlem and eventually all of New York with even more of these things. With this one otherwise providing up to an estimated 400 megawatts an hour every day for a really long time. And Miles just absorbs the storage of energy in its entirety before it blows away the 1.4 square miles or 3.6 square kilometers that is Harlem, only for his friend Finn to take him high into the sky, passing by our low level stratus clouds that can form around four to six and a half thousand feet or nearly 2,000 meters in the air, where they keep going for another thousand feet being 300 meters or so as Miles blows up and falls all the way back to the ground, smashing into the concrete, steel, and lying unconscious for practically no time at all. Far more awesome though is when taking on Sandman, who we went over in Spider-Man's video as being something around 150 meters or 500 feet tall and weighing somewhere around 66 million kilograms or 145 and a half million pounds, 
Miles somehow manages to easily take having Sandman overhead slam him through a building as he's then punched and then grabbed and thrown through a building from Lower Manhattan all the way to just past Washington Square Park in Greenwich. And I cannot tell you how long it took me to find that and to otherwise calculate this distance based off of the size of the game's map to find that Miles was thrown a distance of 1500 meters or nearly one mile, give or take a few, as Miles turns himself into an epic human slingshot covering that same distance in about seven seconds for a speed of 827 kilometers or 515 miles an hour. Miles also has the added bioelectrogenesis ability that lets him generate and absorb electricity that he dubs Venom, an ability that he can use to charge his cell phone, power up large generators, swim through electric water that would easily paralyze someone and cause them to drown, touch 300 kilojoule electric panels that would absolutely fry you, it acts as an involuntary defense, and after being struck by lightning, Miles powers up Peter's laser to split Sandman in half. Heck, Miles even manages to power up a particle generator to destroy the symbiote meteor, one that would require something along the lines of half a gigawatt of power to use, or about half the capacity of a nuclear power plant. We also see Miles turn Sandman into glass, a process that requires heat that gets up to roughly 1700 degrees Celsius or 3090 degrees Fahrenheit, otherwise approximately the same temperature a space shuttle reaches as it re-enters Earth's atmosphere. Other than being able to blast open large steel prison doors and shoot his way out of New York subway tunnels that range from being 14 to 180 feet or 4 to 54 meters deep, Miles has his camouflage ability that is set to function from his bioelectric power that in reality just turns him completely invisible. Yet electricity nor magnetic fields actually cause light to bend, which would imply that Miles has an additional power that lets his skin, and for the sake of allowing him to still wear his costume, refract the light around himself and any clothes he's wearing, which would then allow him to simply vanish. But as powerful as Insomniac's Miles Morales is, he does have have a major weakness and limitation. Just like me spending way too much time measuring the size of fictional bridges and maps, Miles' spider sense is generally regarded as not being as acute as Peter's, only being able to anticipate immediate danger, and it's a lot harder for him to tell where and what. And with his spider sense being different and even weaker due to the spider he was bit by, strong vibrations from something as simple as a cell phone have been shown as being strong enough to mess with the spider sense, causing it to completely mess up or even turn off. But if this wasn't very interesting, then here's one last interesting fact. Miles' standard Spider-Man suit is made out of an extremely durable and stretchy rubber that's insulated against his electric powers. His boots are bulletproof, and he wears one of the most expensive devices in the world, being the web shooters that Peter gifted to him. With us going over how powerful Insomniac Spider-Man is in this video, available right here at the tap. See you in the next one.